Hi, I'm Sonika and I'm here to show you how to make pizza. Yes, enough of the thin crust and the cheese burst. Let's make a pizza that's truly decadent. Today I'm going to show you how to make a deep dish pizza. Every pizza needs to have four perfect parts. You start with the dough and then you got to have a really delicious tomato sauce, amazing toppings and lots and lots of cheese. So I've got all these four components in place. Let's quickly start making a delicious deep dish pizza. Now let's start with the dough. Pizza dough is really simple to prepare and you can check out the videos on Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana and learn how to make your own pizza dough. So I've already got a batch made for me. So you make the pizza dough and this has been left to prove for a couple of minutes. And now I'm just going to knock it back. So I'm just going to get it out on my worktop. Careful enough not to get rid of any of the air that we've put into it. Before I throw this on the worktop, I'm just going to dust it with some flour. So I'm just going to knock this back to its original size that it was before we proved it. So the only reason why we're knocking this back is to get rid of any of the excess air. I'm going to dust it with some more flour. Okay, so pizza dough is going to be sticky. So that's when you need to keep dusting it with dry flour. So the pizza dough is ready. I'm just going to get a deep dish pan in which I'm going to be baking this pizza, and we're just going to grease it slightly. Make sure you get the oil on the sides as well because the pizza base is going to go right up till there. Dust this with some flour, dry flour. Now that my pan is nicely greased, I'm going to start rolling out the dough. So let's dust the worktop first. I'm going to use a rolling pin. So you want to make sure you roll this out nice and big. It should be good enough to cover even the sides of the pan. So I've rolled this out. Now comes the tricky part where I'm just going to take it and put it on top of the tin that we're going to bake the pizza in. Stretch the dough enough to make sure that it reaches the top of the tin as well. Get rid of all the excess dough on the top. Cover it up with a damp muslin cloth, and we're going to let it proof for a couple of minutes more. So while this dough is proofing, I'm going to start preparing the sauce for the pizza. So let's put this aside and take a pan on heat, and then add some olive oil to it. While that oil is heating up, we're going to treat some tomatoes. So I've got tomatoes which I've blanched with me, and uh, we've got the peel out of them. You could very well keep the peel on as well, but I forgot that in our pizza, you don't want to have the skin of a tomato in the sauce. Now I'm just going to chop this up very roughly. The olive oil is nice and hot. I'm going to add in some garlic to the pan, and now I'm going to quickly add in the tomatoes as well. And this tomato and garlic is going to cook together till the tomatoes go nice and soft and pulpy, and that's going to take anything between 10 to 12 minutes. While the tomatoes are cooking, we're going to add in some salt for seasoning. Next in goes some ketchup, which is going to add some sweetness to cut out the sourness of the tomatoes. Give it a nice mix again. I'm just going to add in a little bit of water to this to help it cook better and faster. Now you just want to mash up the tomato slightly with the back of your spoon because that'll just help cook it faster. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to shift the sauce onto another flame and we're going to start prepping some of the toppings for this pizza. So I'm going to take another pan. Now I'm going to fry up some chicken which is going to go as a topping for this pizza. So I'm going to heat some olive oil in a pan. So I've got some boneless chicken cubes with me. I'm going to just toss these up with some garlic. And once the garlic starts sizzling like it has right now, just throw in the chicken pieces. I know these are not going to take much time to cook, so just keep it on high heat and just saute it for a bit. So to the chicken, I'm going to add a couple of flavorings. Let's add some chili flakes. And I've got some fresh oregano with me, which I'm also going to add. Give it a toss. And since this is not going to take too long to cook, I'm just going to turn the heat off. So just before turning the heat off the chicken because I think it's done I'm going to add some salt little bit of salt and give it a final mix and we're going to take this off the heat and look back at our tomato sauce you can see that the tomatoes have gone nice and pulpy and you can also see the beautiful color so maybe I'm going to add some more water to this and let it cook for a bit more so I'm just going to give this sauce a good mix again we're going to add some basil leaves So the minute you add basil to the sauce it gets a whole new life and the aroma changes you'll see the flavor is going to change so my sauce looks like it's done at this point i'm just going to add in some red chili flakes for some spice 
Give it a good mix again. And now we're going to let this cool slightly before we can start assembling our gorgeous deep dish pizza. So now let's take a look at our dough and see how it's doing. Yeah, it has fluffed up a bit more again. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to stab it with a fork so that it doesn't rise too much while we're baking it. And now comes the time for the chunky tomato sauce. So make sure it's cooled and once it's cooled slightly, that's when you want to put the sauce over it. And now I'm going to use the back of a spatula just to make sure it's nice and even and it's a nice big layer of the chunky sauce you've got. Because this is a deep dish pizza and you want to get the taste of that lovely tomato basil sauce in every bite. Now we're going to start putting on the cheese. So let's head to the mozzarella cheese and add that into it. Instead of putting cheese on the top of a pizza, I think it's way better when you just layer it at the bottom along with the sauce because you get a more even layer of cheese and it's more melty that way. And now comes the time for the toppings. Let's start with the chicken that we fried up. Just gonna roughly drop it in. Again, deep dish pizzas are supposed to be overloaded. It's not like a thin crust where you have a really thin crust and measly toppings on it. It's fully loaded. So don't shy away, just go all out. Next, let's add in the mushrooms. I'm using button mushrooms here, which I've sliced up. So just sprinkle them around. Some jalapenos, slices of them. Next, I've got some olives. Another thing you can keep in mind is that while you're assembling your pizza, you need to preheat the oven at 180 degrees Celsius so that we can bake this beauty in time. I've also got some sun-dried tomatoes and they add that beautiful tartness to the pizza. Finally, I'm going to sprinkle some sliced onions on top and some fresh oregano. And finally, my favourite topping of all time, pepperoni slices. I'm going to place six of them. And these six are going to act like the demarcation for how many slices we're going to cut. Everybody gets one slice of pepperoni. Now that the assembly is done, let's put this into a preheated oven and bake it at 180 degrees Celsius for about 20 to 25 minutes or till that cheese gets nice and bubbly and the crust goes beautifully crisp. It's been a really long 25 minute wait and I think my pizza is done now so I'm quickly going to go pull it out of the oven. This looks so good, I'm pretty sure I'm never ordering pizza again. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut it, I've got a pizza cutter with me and just run it through it. Now finally I'm just going to tear up some basil leaves and throw them over this pizza. I just can't wait because all the colours in this gorgeous pizza are literally calling out to me. That glorious smoked pepperoni, the gooey cheese and the crust and those delicious toppings. I'm going to dig in. This is the kind of recipe that's definitely going to put you in food coma. Try it out yourself, go crazy with the toppings and let me know in the comment section how it turned out. For more awesome recipes like this, subscribe to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana.